Hello fellow bookquesters, it's Aaron the Bookquester. Today I'll introduce you to this almighty series. The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. One of my favorite book series. Now, now, now. There's, well, seven of these books, so I'm not going to explain them all today. I'm just going to explain the three books that became a movie. And the first book that became a movie is actually book two, not book one, which is ridiculous in my opinion. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. As you see, the, the chapter, the name of this book is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And as you can see, there is a lion in the front cover. You might have heard of this in YouTube or some other place. It is a quite a good movie, actually. I watched it, and it's almost exactly like the book. In this book, four children, Peter, the oldest, Susan, the next oldest, the girl, then Edmund, the next, next, next oldest, and the youngest, Lucy. One day, at when they are sent away from London, their home because of the air raids, one, Lucy Pe Pevensey opened a wardrobe door that led into another world. A world that is captured in eternal winter. The world full of magic, fawns and centaurs and talking beasts. Narnia. There, there she meets Mr. Thomas, a fawn. A fawn. Now, 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 you might not know what a fawn is. A fawn is a humanoid, a hybrid. A person, da ta ta, and from its from the legs, is a goat. I'm serious. It's a goat. And she she meets the kindly old kindly centaur, and she becomes quite good friends with her. And she he tells Lucy about how horrible it was in Narnia, frozen in a tiny winter. The white witch ruling over it, the, the calling herself the queen of Narnia, and she is very evil. And and when Lucy tell comes back into their world, and not even a second has passed, but she had talked for hours and hours with Mister Thomas, she is quite surprised, and the others won't believe her story. And Edmund makes her quite miserable too because he jeers and, you know, I am older than you, thingy, vibe. And soon enough, Peter, Susan, and Edmund pro pro are proof that Lucy is right. They venture into the wardrobe world themselves. But when they discover that Mr. Thomas was caught by the wet witch, and she is scared of a rhythm, a rhythm that says that if four children fills the states of Care Paravel, the great castle of Narnia, the frost will be gone and there will be Christmas and spring again. But, but since four, two sons of Adam and two, two, two daughters of Eve must sit there. And they has to be humans. And when when the four humans, two add two sons of Adam, by that I mean Peter and Edmund, and the two daughters of Eve, by that I mean Susan and Lucy. It is quite a threat to the White Witch. And when they finally meet the great king, the high king of the high king. The great beast, the Lord. The great lion, Aslan. He meets them around Care Paravel. And there he joins them and teaches Peter how to fight and knights Peter 
as Peter Wolfsbane. And Peter, I forgot to mention, got a sword. A blade from Father Christmas himself. The blade was almighty and he will soon slay many beasts and monsters with his blade. And he got the shield with a great red lion on it, probably meaning Aslan. And they fight with the white witch and with Aslan's great sacrifice and help, they manage to defeat her. And the, and the two kings and the four queens rule over Narnia happily ever after until they find their way back into their world. And the details you must read. Now that's a pretty exciting story, but the more's yet to come. Book f Larnia, Book 4, Prince Caspian. Now, 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 I know you might stare at me thinking, Huh? How about Book 3? Don't tell me they skipped that too. But they did. They skipped Book 3, The Horse and His Boy, and simply made the other Prince Caspian, Book 4, into a movie. This book is when, as always, the four children... The Pevensies come back into Narnia. There they meet a young king named King Caspian. They are trying to get back Narnia from the evil colormen, Caspian's very old people. The, Cas the, the evil Colomans had taken over Narnia eons ago, and now it is time for Narnia to rise again. And they defeat, and I like always, where, where when they manage to find Aslan and get his help, they await the narrates and trees, and the trees, and the non, the fawns, the centaurs, and the talking beasts fight against the columns and win. That is what basically happened in the second movie, aka the fourth book. And the third movie, mind you, is The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. This one actually is book four after, and uh, book five after book four. And that's pretty nice considering they skipped book one and book three. This book is when, is when, uh, the Pevensies plus Eustace, a little new CNC, little beast like annoying kid. And this time only Lucy and Edmund come. Because when you're grown up, you can't come back to Narnia apparently. And so Lucy, da da da, -da and Edmund come back to Narnia. There they find King Caspian, now sailing on his marvelous ship, the Dawn Treader, going on a search for to destroy evil, going on a quest to destroy evil, and find the seven lords who are not afraid of the sea, that, that was on the side of the Narnia. And on this epic quest, they, they find evil lurking everywhere and little, as you could say, very evil, evil plans in every corner and every place where the little guys went. And the book ends with them destroying an island, an island made out of pure evil. They managed to destroy the island with the magic of all seven swords of the lords. To make the long story short, of course, you have to read for the details. And they managed to destroy the remnants of the white witch, the green lady like evil serpent, and the all, as you could think, remnants of evil. 
that was the end of this book. And that's it for us too now. Next time I'll explain some book one that is that was not made by a movie. My guess is that the movie makers wrote only what continues into the main plot. The main plot, I you ask? So, I think that since the Pevensies only appear, by that I mean, you know, Peter, Susan, Lucy and Edmund, they only appear, the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, Prince Caspian and the Voyage of the Dawn Treasure. From the magician's nephew, there are two different people, Polly and an, a boy, go finding Narnia and looking at Aslan, give the gift of talking, and so on. The horse and his boy is kind of like a sequel and very, very, very unrelated. And the silver train and the last battle have two other characters entirely. And bye bye now. I'll see you next time. And like always, your bookwester, Aaron the bookwester. Mm-mm. Now bye, deeds. I gotta go.